advertising. So if you take the intervention of the court to correct such anomalies, then we had persons like Mike Tyson, uh, Mother Teresa, Elisa, uh, Jacob Bush. Zuma, uh, Nelson Mandela, you know, people oh, that... Oh, those people are Nigerians. Well, uh, that is what, that is the type of electoral brigandage. We witnessed most especially <laughs> under former brigandage President uh, <laughs> Ulushe Gumba oh, my goodness. No, no. Moses, it's no laughing matter. Do you know <laughs> that thing is it's more dangerous than Boko Haram? Absolutely. Of yes, absolutely. Mm. Uh, but uh, we have uh, the electoral empire, for example, mm. has done very well in terms Re of... Regardless? Regardless, yes. Because I realize that there's no perfect institution. But when an institution continues to up its game, now for elections, if the Vivas machine... You know, there was a time we had a card reader. True, true. Because our election was such that people were voting by proxy. Yes. But in this present era, no. it's, it's impossible for you to get, you know, people stuffing ballot box again because the Beavers, Beavers machine yeah. has to accredit you facially yes. or by thumbprint. By thumbprint yeah. I'll give you, I'll give you, there's this case of uh, pre-filled ballot papers. You know, one thing we have discovered about the electoral process under the present uh, I neck leadership starting from the era of uh, Jega. Atairu Jega yeah. is that for you to be able to manipulate the process, a lot of roadblocks must be must be broken down, and those roadblocks consist of the stakeholders. You have to compromise the party against. Mm -hmm. You have to compromise the voters. Yeah. You have to compromise the observers. You have, to com agents. you have to compromise the security agencies. You have to compromise uh, the the even the the the, the INEC officers, officers themselves. Ground, so yeah. there's that likelihood that you meet a brick wall. It's very high. Mm -hmm. So when the results are prefilled that party A got one twenty five, party B got ten. How will you ma how will you manipulate oh, this the Vivas? People? Because we already know that Vivas. Mm. The beauty of INEC uh, uh, election electionary process now is that ballot papers for Oshodi. Local yeah, government is customized. It's customized yeah. for Shudi. It's different from the ballot paper for yeah, Suru Lemi. Papa or whatever. Then yeah. the Beavers machine is configured for each polling unit. So you can't do. You can't take a, a Beavers machine for polling units zero zero one to zero zero two. It won't work. Yeah, 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 Nelson. But the same Beavers is having teething problems. In what way? In the present, in the last general election, Nigerians, 19... Nigerians are not trusting of the system. No, it's because the 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 some persons. No, do you understand? I understand. You are perfectly another citizen. Mm -hmm. The problem is that a lot of Nigerians have taken it upon themselves to listen to the politicians rather than to mm -hmm. interrogate the fact. Okay, for example, look at the elections that are held in Kogi, Imo, and oh, yeah. In Kogi State, APC won. All the other parties said election was rigged. Abi? Yeah. In Imo State, APC won. Same All the other parties said election. In Bayasa, PDP won. Every other party said the election perfect. was rigged. Perfect. So it is about if I win, yeah, election yeah. is perfect. perfect. The I moment lose. I lose, <laughs> oh, it was manipulated. <laughs> so we have politicians who are speaking from. I've told you, I was in a do state in 2014, there about, and 20. Um, uh, yes. 2018. Yeah. 2018. Where the governor in the morning when the election was being conducted, mm. he came on there when he, when he went to his polling station to vote, and he was crying out that oh, Anek has compromised this election. Anek has done this. Anek has done that. Lo and behold, at the end of the exercise on the following day when the results were announced he that he emerged as the winner, he said this is the best, best election, election he has ever seen in his life. <laughs> so that's the Nigerian politician for you. They are never truthful. To now, the issues now like this, we go the day, and the what? problem is that sometimes when it favors them, of course, INEC gets the best of superlatives. Once it goes against them, some of them have used someone like Atiku, the like, as in they've had their way with the Supreme Court. One time they there, Supreme Court was the best thing since life then. But once it goes against you, then everything must come down. It is, it is, it's some immaturity. We should have brought all this, otherwise, we'll just remain the laughing stock. Liberia conducted election. George Wade lost. Everyone did not fall. Incumbent lost. He congratulated the, the, the incumbent president. Everyone did not fall. All but right. here, Mbo. All right. Let's go into the first of our two issues for today. Now, Nigerian graduate burns certificates out of frustration. I'm sure you've heard that. A frustrated, a frustrated Nigerian graduate 
has burned his original certificate. So after 13 years of graduation and without any employment, Alvin Ulutimei Ilenri, I hope I got that right, a man in, in his early 40s, or so it seems, set his certificates from his primary school to the tertiary levels on fire. According to him, he read the, the man who, according to the man who read history and international studies from the Ajay Krada University in Oyo State, quote, I graduated in 2010, did my NYC in 2011. Over 13 years, I have not used these certificates to do anything. It's better to even be illiterate than to have useless certificates. He goes on, Learning skills to enhance productivity is better than relying on white-collar jobs. End quote. Now, for me, life was not meant to be easy. Ask Dangote and Otedola. <laughs> I, I may be wrong. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> Absolutely, you are right. Yeah. I, I, I think uh, first and foremost, uh, we must condemn such acts. Very condemnable. Now. Uh, <laughs> what it shows is that that guy was unworthy of those certificates <laughs> because we must uh, understand that when you earn a certificate from an institution of learning it's not only the academics the, mm -hmm. the morals character the character mm -hmm. it means that this is a very deficient person, person. because uh, having a certificate is to groom you to be a better person to groom you to meet the you know the challenges in life the certificate is not an end in itself but it no, means to an okay. end my days in life you will emphasize knowledge and character yes Sabi everything if you don't get character you're not going anywhere i i, I think uh, those institutions uh, based on what he has done because maybe sometime in future we will come back to his uh, to reality I think they should withdraw his certificate permanently well, deciding if he needs those think, certificates you, in the future you think uh he's in a swoon now Pardon? I think emotions think he's got the worst of it. He has not recovered. I, I, I believe the guy must, you know, you know, a former minister of uh, PA, uh, Professor Chukuma Nebu. Yeah. Uh, uh, at the point, he is, you know, Nebu, uh, Nebu, or so, Nebu, 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 okay. Nebu, yeah. Nebu. Yeah. Okay. He said uh, one, Nebu, yeah. Yeah, one out of three Nigerians has a mental disorder. So it could not be out of place. If we <laughs> you are so, no no you are no, no is that that's the fact? <laughs> Nelson, we are three here, so one of us. Eh? Yeah, that's what you said. I, I, I don't. I but, don't know about that. Know I, I, it's special. No, you, because because no because we are putting Nelson, on. No, you, you are, citizen, you mental health. health like no, here. citizen, mental health this does not mean when you get, go naked. No, of course. A lot of persons have you know, enter depression be, and you know what have you, and they have become something else. But when somebody is not able to be productive to himself. Mm. and to his society mental you, health you, you, useful to himself yes that means mm -hmm. he has mental health challenge mm -hmm. because if you have graduated you know uh, 13 years ago there are so many opportunities maybe he was a speaking long time. A long he time. was cherry picking a long time he, 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 he was he was you into many jobs i have sorry. been in academic for some time now and i can tell that most of our schools don't only train you to you know, to get a certificate they equip you with all manner even nyc come around before you even go to camp so as an inundation of what you meet there they train you in all manner of ways not to depend on oh, i must get this job in one oil company no mm -hmm. so that that man sorry i i think emotions got the better of the worst of him because this certificate he may need them someday and he has bought them if the schools he attended uh, if they are well, what has happened now they will make him go through do, hell. Do, don't know it's more like committing suicide. Of course. Of, absolutely. That's that. what he has done. Of course. Speaking. Yes, that's what he has worse done. Worse than that. But because um, what he has told the institutions is that, you know, those certificates, that uh, years of producing, you know, because for this person, I'm sure if he's the one that spent the money, you, you can't calculate uh, how much has gone into... From the primary school yeah. to the university. So for him to just wake up one day and say... Let me get to citizens. We are all, I'm sure we are not far from the age, the generation of this young man that, you know, you just spoke about. True, true. When we were in school, when we come home during our holidays, we go looking for private lesson to yeah. occupy of ourselves course. to any Yes. Mm. Yes, now. We are not saying, oh, oh on, we, oh, oh, uh, even though some of us had this illusion. That when I come out from the university, I want to work in a bank. Yeah. I want to put on, I want to work in another company, you know. You know, but when we came out and we faced the reality of life, 
we had to change gear. We changed our focus. And here we are. A lot of us never had paid employment for one day. Funny enough, I never read anything in education. I went to the poly, I went to the university at a point in time. But all I, I, at the point in engineering, later I went for something that was doing my uh, communication. Not one day, but all my life, anytime there is a break, okay, I'm done with this particular phase of my life, I go teaching. And that's why I now found my lifelong, maybe, uh, career. And today I'm grateful that I'm in this business, I'm in this um, field where it's I can mold life. Yes. So, um, for him, 13 years, I always said this. There was time I was involved in a, a kind of project where we called certificate versus certificate. Mm -hmm. If you depend solely on just what you earn in terms of degree from school, then you should be pitied. The schools have equipped as many. Don't go out there. They have equipped you to be a person on your own, on your own. Not to wait, you know, waiting for Godot, waiting for someone to employ you and give you a six, uh, you know, figure salary. And then, that's illusional. As Nelson has said, so then I'm sure, I mean, Nelson is a voice all over Nigeria, all over Africa and the world. But I'm sure possibly he didn't, he's not even in the field he read in school. All right. <laughs> um, just to, the, the time is uh, 21 and a half minutes past three in the city of Lagos and this is Studio 9, 903 on the Voice of the People Radio 90.3 FM aka the Radio Palo Show. Um, do you have anything to contribute uh, regarding this subject matter? Nigerian graduate burns certificates out of frustration. Does it cut any ice with you? Zero seven hundred nine zero three nine zero three nine zero three. Again, uh, it it the world was not okay, gentlemen. I have a caller here. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. I greet you, sir. Your name, sir. Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Olale John Oluwada I'm coming. I'm calling from a uh, airport junction here. Welcome. I think the man is just is not is is, is an abnormal person. Please. Let me take uh, okay. my life to, say, to to explain this. Let me take my life to explain this. Thing. I graduated. I graduated at uh, at Lasso as banking and finance student in 2009. When I'm looking for a job, I don't see it. Stella, Stella. Okay, Stella, welcome. Calling from where? Yeah, I'm calling. All right, are you there? Uh, I, I hope she's calling. I'm not lost the connection. I think she's calling from Wishy. Uh, I, please, I please, the, the line is free, 0700-903-903-903. It would be interesting to get to hear what a, a, a lady has to say. Yeah. Um, this morning? No, yeah. No, this morning, yeah, okay. I just, it's, uh, so, there are so many quotations about frustration, but, but I want whoever is listening to me to hear this. No one who has been successful has gone through life without getting frustrated. No one. No one. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Afternoon, citizen. I greet you, sir. Your, your name, where you're calling? I greet you, sir. Simon, calling from Ableba. Yeah, brother Simon. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I greet your guest in the studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, the, from the beginning, so when I started working after the NYC, the pay was increasing little by little. You understand? Not that I didn't have many illusion. There was no illusion that once I finished, I'm going to work in the in the oil company, and there was never an illusion like that. Yeah, I already knew that it's not going to be easy, mm. and I already knew that there's the uh, uh, there's the just as your guest said, the certificate and the certificate, <laughs> and I already I, uh, I already knew that it's a, it is a journey. It is it is a journey. You understand. And yeah. I knew that in future, in future, I'm going to need that certificate of biotechnology for something. I read, I know, I know now, I'm going to need it. Yeah. You understand? Mm. And there will, there will be, at the end of the day, there will be no, there will be no uh, uh, argument whether I did the NYC or not. There will be no argument whether I went to primary school or not. There will be no argument whether I went to secondary school or not. There will be no argument whether I graduated from the university or not because everything I took my final year teachers, final year grad, everything was there. Yeah. So okay. I've, I'm, I'm feeling a uh, uh, pity for the guy. I the problem is that he does not understand the meaning of life. If you understand the meaning of life, and if you understand the meaning of university, just just as your guest said, universal. 
means you are gaining experience from different different places and these experiences are helping me shaping me to become who yeah, i am yeah thank you um, so uh, uh, so there's no there's no there's no there's no there's so, today so, there's so no argument of say for, for our brother alvin he is shooting himself in the foot absolutely exactly mm-hmm. exactly so there's no there's nobody should call and say government should provide jobs or no no there's no no there's nothing no yes, nobody should call and tell us that nonsense mm. nobody should call and tell us that nonsense you, you start from you start small you yes, start sir. small from just like everybody did you start well, small. I, got you, I got you know. i got you exactly exactly yeah. thank you stella the i hope you're listening to me the the line is free now call us Zero seven hundred nine zero three nine zero three nine zero three. Very close on three. Funny 30. enough, I had um, the presidential candidate of LP, um, His Excellency Peter Obi, this morning. He gave a very brilliant speech. I think maybe in a convocation. I was wondering that this is a man that read philosophy, but he touched on very many sectors in the speech. Mm. Mm. So this says that university only prepares you for all parts of life, all shades of life, not just one field you you got a degree from. Just a minute. Uh, good afternoon. No. Good Hello. afternoon. Good afternoon. Your radio is on. Please remove it. Remove it before I, I entertain okay. the call. Please remove it completely. So we have a smooth. My uh, name is. Uh, my name is Zimbabwe. The same body way I I, I used to know. <laughs> Ozumba. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My name on. is Zimbabwe. I'm okay. calling you from Agbadoja. All right, sir. For, for good sake. Okay then. Actually, I didn't attend the university due to one condition or the other. But I finished my secondary school in 1987. Could you hear me? Yeah. Very well. Okay, I finished my secondary school in 1987. I'm a businessman after starting my career. So what I want to say about this uh, person that wants is... Uh, that is state. He made a great mistake. So, if he still does a fifth state inside the board, <laughs> does it have to do, do anything? He know they chop. You know, nobody say he go waste food. You know, the, you know, the, you know, the decay, you know, the decay now. Ah, uh, you know, the decay. You know, the decay, you know, the rot. Mm. Just put it inside your fire. Keep on there. Anytime you can go to. A uh, worker can come out maybe through newspaper or through transition and ask what will be made. Mm. That is so this social person with uh, with uh, this uh, so qualification. Come to this place, there is work for you. Then you go there and they pull it out from your file. Then go there. Mm. You may be lucky, you be accepted. You go to school doesn't mean that you must have government work. Are you hearing me? Mm. Are you hearing me, sir? Are they here? Uh-huh. You go to school doesn't mean that you must have government work. It's not it's not possible. You are going there to have a brain, mingle with all that, know what is going on. Because uh, a person that didn't attend school is like a blind person. You go to school doesn't mean that you should just relax waiting for government to come and they need to work. It's a, it's a childish idea. Mm. The person that wants his uh, certificate, he doesn't have sense at all. You can become an ordinary, you can do anything, go to start with. And, when uh, you can't call, and you hear this, uh, and our friend say, in do menial jobs, and he, he said, um, I have not used these certificates to do anything. It is better to even be literate than to have useless certificates. Uh, he said, Learning skills to en- he said learning skills to enhance productivity is better than relying on white collar jobs. He should have relied on that. He should have carried that. It doesn't mean it, uh, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. Put your foot, put your certificate inside your cupboard and file it. Yeah, it will become Let useful one day. File something. Absolutely. File something. Do even if your is your card, carry your card for not to do your work. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you are being based on certificate. Mm. Thank you. Put it inside your phone box and they forget about it. Uh-uh. But it will not... Uh-huh. Not... Uh, uh-huh. Huh? Uh, but it will thank you very much. 
thank you, sir. But 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 you, make I tease you a little. Are you in any way related related to KO Mbadi way in any way? <laughs> or or na na. <laughs> Timba, I, did, I didn't relate. I, I didn't relate to KO Mbadi. KO Mbadi is a from my number, I think. Okay. But I'm from Ebony State. Ah, I'm from okay. Ebony State. Okay. All right. I know that Mbadi is a Igbo name. Thank you. What? What? Uh, what? what? Igbo name. Amigo, amigo, amigo person from Ebony State. What does Mbadi mean? Mbadi means uh, country is annoyed. Country is annoyed. Ah. <laughs> yes, country is annoyed, or if your a family is annoyed, or I can I can say that it's a divisible name. Yeah. Okay. Mm, by the way. Okay. All it's right. advisable name. Okay. Thank you so, very much. You have to be careful. You have to be careful. Maybe from your family, from anywhere you are, you have to be careful. Mm. All what you yeah. all what you see in this world is not uh, it's no good. It's no good. Reminds me one of the reminds me of one of the songs of uh, uh, Celeste Nuku. Ilo Ilo Erika Ilo Umu Abilo or something like that. You remember? Uh, I can't remember. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you, you like, you like sorry, you know. Let Let me play with the name Mbadiwe, the late. Somewhere like a SLA, I think. Okay, like, yeah. When he had this trouble going with Awolowa, everywhere he went, it was Awolowa. Akintola used to speak with a shrill in his voice, like our friend Tochuku. Oh, yeah. And Awolowa, Kawe, Awolowa, I want you to go, what in Jawin I want body way. <laughs> oh, would you we? As if you we, I, I'll get you. Ah, is that right? <laughs> body uh, way, or would you we? As if you we. Okay, <laughs> the body way town. Our boy, how can you? Uh, good afternoon. Hello. Welcome. Uh, good afternoon, Peter. Yeah, I greet you, sir. Your name? My name is Akin Pelu. Akin Yemi. Akin Pelu. Welcome. I think myself and I greet you. The I greet our visitors here. Good afternoon. I think my my good afternoon. My I think myself and the other fourth and second class same yeah. thing. Mm. Yeah, because I went to technical school. I graduated as painting and decorative student. Okay. And I went for another diploma, I achieved that as well. Ever since then, nothing. I'm a baba. I wow. learned that. In. Yeah, yeah, you, are, you, are, you are not regretting anything at all. Mm. Do you believe that I bought I bought Paris I Wow! I can show you. Yeah, I wow. show, I can show you the picture. Yeah, I bought Paris at Southern and Six. Well, it was in Marseille. It was in Marseille. That's in France. Well, yeah, in France. There, mm. all the family knew me. Okay. Uh, I didn't stop. I didn't stop for that. I, I on that. I I can I can do body too. As an assume as well. Ah, because as a if barber, have, you barb anything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is the person. This is the person that know me. Quite, I can show you the picture. I believe you. Where, I where believe I'm you. at his own. So, okay. I think that that man. To call it long story short, I think that man is mentally unbalanced. I mean. I, 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 okay. how, how, how can you bond how can you bond your certificate for what from primary, primary school, school you know i don't how? know how i don't know the mental how? state of that i don't know mm. in fact, <laughs> if I, I like this conversation uh, uh. now if i handle but you would think in osho the solo year they know me as a sport person okay which I'm, which I'm very very close to collecting my nis something you know you don't. You can't just. You can't just do that. What can you point NIS is, for what? is Nigeria Institute of uh, Sports, right? Sports. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can't just. You can't just say for what? For what reason? I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm speechless. Okay. I'm speechless. Honestly speaking. Okay. I just like. I, li I like the conversation. All right. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Well, right. I, just, I just thought I, I should bring this story here. Um. So we we broach it. Mm. Nelson and uh, Moses, you know, and nobody gets 
educated at school. You only get taught. taught yes. Now. They say when you lo- leave school, what you were taught, yeah. you apply. You start apply. So yes. Your so education begins from there. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, that is why you know we. One of your callers said uh, he read uh, about it. Yeah. And yeah. look at where he has went to. I know of people who read economics or who read chemistry. Mm. And you know. So, so, sorry, I have a caller. I don't, I don't. Please keep Hello, me with you. Ad- yeah, welcome, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. My name is Mr. Oka from Badagri. Good okay. evening to your guest. Uh, the, we the greet you. Okay. I, I, I heard that you said that somebody burned his certificate. Mm, uh, nobody, nobody say you heard. Me, I tell you, the guy's name is Alvin Olutimei. Is, is, is that how you pronounce it? Ilen what? Ilen Re. Ilen Re. Ilen That's the name from a uh, uh, do state. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, he, the guy okay. Bought, he born in certificate from primary school to university. Is the guy annoyed or, or something like, like that? Uh, he, he, asked, who go he said because he no get <laughs> he no get work for thirteen years going to fourteen years. Ah, uh, what I graduated two thousand and ten at Uni Line. Why can't he go into creativity and innovation? Why can't he do some these? Uh, one of the people that that, that go into the uh, uh, affiliate market. Make her bring him. Make, uh, make, make, make her bring him to you. You go ask him the question. No, I'm not really, really asking you. I'm trying to be rhetorically yeah. my question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, 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 that kind of agar is not uh, helping. It's not helping itself. You should have sit down, have a ticket cap, and uh, go into affiliate market. Mm. We have to try to do one or two things to survive because this country is not helping. I have a big respect in my hand, but I, nobody have, I don't have a capital intensive that I don't nobody to help me to bankroll it. Mm. I have tried my best to show uh, some people go, to you, you, you want the capital? Yes, I need some money to, to, go, to take go to, my go, go to Abuja, that's the capital. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, thank you. I need some money to see that uh, I, I start the business successfully. Okay, then. Or I need to help network investors to help me influence the business. Mm. So that I could buy the company to my hand. Mm. But I couldn't see. Now, this guy was they look at certain and they have become, they have become to, 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 to wear long feet. So what do I do? I have to keep to myself. I remain uh, determined for success. For success. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I, I don't need to wear like this. You mm. don't need to go. Because every time you, you do truly pass through university, university is a place where nothing becomes something. Mm. You have to keep that, that, that education to yourself. Yeah. It will help you to it will wear you out. Yeah. Whatever you lay your hand upon, you you go wider. You have advantage. You mm. you have edge to write on each issue. You don't need to bother. I always let, 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 let my friends know that certificate is black and white. What is in your head? What do you inculcate in your spirit? Certificate. You are. Mm-hmm. Yes. What is the graduate you are? Not uh, black and white. Because I think I believe in black and white. Thank when you. you thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you very kindly. What you can display? I wrote exam. A South Africa uh, white man came to Nigeria. I wrote exam with him. He liked me. But when Nigeria was in Pantasolosho, Alapidia, he told him that we have come in this country. He told the white man, and the white man is to, to empower us again. Mm. I can't lie. All right. I, we wrote the exam at the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here, yeah, gentlemen, the, the man touched on something that hits me. How did we become Nelson Adebayo Moses? How did we become a heavily certificate, certificated country? I think it has to do with the type with the school curriculum we inherited. <coughs> I it, because um, a lot of us the type of education we got was an education that prepared you only to be employed mm-hmm. and not to see yourself as an entrepreneur. That's it. And I think that correction has been made by the National uh, Education Education Council through the introduction of entrepreneurial courses at every level, level of our education. Now, 
All right, let me take another call. Good afternoon. Welcome. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Hello, good, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, we can My hear name you. is Rosemary. Okay. My then. name is Rosemary. I'm calling from Orile. Rosemary, welcome. Yes, sir. I want to contribute to the guy that born his certificate. Okay. He's totally, he's totally out of it. I myself, I told you I have a tech. I had my own ending in 2017, and there was no job for me. I started working at Western House as a cleaner, public cleaner. But at that place I was working, a man called me. The way he talked to me, I responded. He asked me, where, where did I stop? I told him. The man said, the man offered me a job in his law, uh, law firm. And today, I'm still working there. So wow. going in a certificate is not the right option for him. Suppose I've cooled down, keep it aside, look for something else, then do any minor job. And I, from there, God can lift him up. Not yeah. just by him burning it or expecting it to get it, expecting himself to get it at a platter of gold. It's not easy. It's a global market. Everybody is there for what him himself wants. So he has no patience and it's not good. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah. We can see that we are all on the same page. Mm -hmm. yeah, Nobody will comment people. such. Um, uh, and uh, I think um, the we should take it upon ourselves to advocate that. Uh, that young man should be taken to the mental <laughs> Yeah, he needs he a needs second it. examination. He needs an examination. Uh, hello. hello. Welcome. This is in Jones. I agree to Moses ah. Adebaya, my man. Oh, this is so oh, because he's back. Oh, wow. <laughs> the most is the most is. How are you guys? I agree especially, really. Good to hear your voice again. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I, w I, w I, I went for election. After the bracket, I'm back again. At the mention of your name, the acquired man in this studio is shaking. He is shaking. Yeah. Uh, He's uh, uh, Obi, you know, I, I, as I do, I'm sitting and facing Moses. I do always, yes. sometimes I do black, yep, I'm say, even carry the Ten Commandments, go na at this our National Assembly. They're not going to tear them to pieces. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Moses, are you sure that this man that bought it, are you sure he's not from Aquaribo, Moses? No, 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 no. no. He's not from Aquaribo? He's from Aquaribo, Daddy. He's a Nigerian. Okay. I said, she's in you see, this man that bought, bought his certificate, my brother, I think he, what he has succeeded in doing now is he has made us to discuss, discuss about him. This is social media era. I, I, I bet you that man didn't bought his certificate, he bought something else. No, 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 no. I, I see, I see the picture. You know, pictures don't tell lies. <laughs> yes, except, except, okay, okay, except that okay. Kit, uh, I think this, this kit is yes. too, too, too good to be untrue. If yes, you ask me. I agree with you. He, he's trying to make a discuss about him, my brother. There are many people that did that that we are not aware. That's the work of social media. He has succeeded in making us discuss him. For me, that's not <laughs> that's not an issue. We we'll have uh, we we'll have a more serious problem than this man. Thank you very much. Thank you very oh. much. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> like we like we said, uh, I, I think I want to agree with him in a, a bit because uh, it has become the topic of public discourse. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, that... so, sorry, another call. Um, good afternoon. Welcome. Yeah, my name is Emeka. I'm calling from Chukwuma. Yeah. Emeka, welcome. I want to contribute about uh, this man that born in his car certificate. Uh, he not born down. He born in certificate. Okay, okay. The man that born in certificate. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> now, see, uh, we have different opinion and different uh, way of reasoning. Okay. We should thank God that this young man born his certificate. We should thank God for him. Say no born house. No, apart from house. <laughs> we should be thankful because most people enter depression before you know it. They take away their lives. Okay. Okay. I so, see what you mean. Yeah. So, so this guy born in his certificate, maybe he's frustrated one way or the other. For him not to take his life, he tried to take away what will bring him, what will make him to take his life. Because for him, he's, he's, he's all those things as wasting of um, schooling. Maybe after 13 yeah. years after schooling, yeah. he could not be able to secure a good job for yourself. Cannot be even able to, to, say, to say thank you to your parents who's, who train who train you yeah, while going to that's school. It, that's it. So these are just with someone says education is camps so that's why you see them maybe what they are saying some, some of them are saying the truth how you school in a whole country for yeah, after 13 years no good job nothing to show off it so that's just how you get is useless so before you could secure a good job in this country he said i am 
You understand me? Someone has to, and uh, Roma has to find down his signature as okay, this person is coming from such and such person before you get a good job. Hmm. What you could get in this country is just a minor job where you so, where so, so, somebody. So, so you would they talk to me if you send your child hmm. to university. You they send up to university be because when you come out, you go get white collar job. You see, normally you are sending your child to school for for the child to be educated. Secondly, after that, the child should have something doing. You don't need to send the child to school. At the end of the day, bring him back to where you are. I'm a businessman, for example. Thank you. You understand? Right, thank so, you. So after yeah. now, I am, I will not send my child to school. After sending my child to school, it's even good they will take over from me. Sure. So, but if luck be by his side, normally any person that went to school always seek for white collar job. Some of them doesn't have anything to do with business. Why some who have something to do with business is at every interval, every of their um, holidays. You see them in that shop. Thank you. Let me take another call. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon to you. Hello, caller. Are you there? I thought... uh, I activated another call. Are you are you listening to me? All right. Please call back again. 0700-903-903-903. But if the, if, if the word is frustration, how more frustrated can somebody be? Um, hello, good afternoon. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Hello, how are you? Zero seven hundred nine zero three nine zero three nine zero three. If the word is frustration, does he understand uh, that what he has done will bring misery to himself and to all those people who uh, hoped? looked forward to to him becoming um, a useful member of society. Hello, good afternoon to you. Hello, good afternoon. Oh dear. Um, So he's bringing misery to himself because in his quiet moments, he would regret what he has done. Obviously. That's if, in, he's, in if, he's, in, if he's in a normal state. Just a minute. Good afternoon to you. Citizen. Yeah. Good afternoon, citizen. I keep telling again. I keep telling yeah. I totally disagree with that last caller that said maybe it's a frustration. You have to get the plus of your life, the plus of your career. Uh, someone picked me up from that only estate here. When, he, when that man told me that this man is very, very hardworking person. Now I'm a right, I'm a, I'm a right, right now I'm a civil servant in the social center. Civil servant. Okay. So what, the certificate is a plus. Okay. How can you bond that and you are putting that frustration? It's not part of frustration. It's mentally unbalanced. Ah. All right then. Um, so many people will react no, in different the, ways. The, to, the to, truth to, of the matter is that... Uh, that certificate that he has had, it has taken years of training, mm-hmm. grooming. Mm-hmm. That if you put him side by side with somebody who never went through that tutelage, they are two different beings entirely. Yeah. yeah. And that certificate he acquired is both in learning and character sure. no, to right. make him. Sorry, let, let me take another. Hello. Yeah, Hello. good afternoon. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, your, your name? The, the line is breaking. I, I, I don't know what you are doing, what, what we are not doing right here. Uh, let's see if we can manage it. Where did you say you were calling uh, from? I'm calling from Okay, the name again is uh, Stella. Stella, right? You you called us earlier on, right? Yes. Okay then. Let let's go. Let's go. Let's, quick, let's quickly go. 
Yeah. I don't. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Stella, except that I find it difficult. Stella, me, me, I, I, I know here what you they talk very, very well, you know. Oh dear. Please hang up, hang up and call again, please. <laughs> this is not what I call. Oh, yeah. uh, Stella, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm particularly sorry. Uh, I couldn't make make uh, couldn't quite couldn't quite hear what you said. You know, but essentially, I without meaning to think for you, I I know you you are lampooning the guy for having burnt his certificate. If you ask me, is like committing suicide. It's not yet time. In he has not realized uh, his fault until later. Six minutes to four. That's the time from here. Voice of the People Radio, ninety point three FM on your dial. This is uh, Studio Nine O Three, uh, aka the Radio Palo Show, reaching, reaching you from from here. I'm Citizen Jones and Company. Okay then. Hello, good afternoon to you. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, sir. My name is Okay. Okay, your ra- yeah, your radio day there. Keep your radio out of it. I know you want to hear your voice, but it does not help our business here. Please. Please. Sorry, sir. No, be sorry. I'm Go- out of the radio. Oh, okay. I'm out of that place. So the the person that is uh, that destroyed his own. Uh, Certificate. I saw it as a kind of protest, you know, concerning the semi unemployment in the, the in the country. So no, 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 no vexo, of, no vexo. You no get certificate to burn. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> no, 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 no vex. Say, I ask you, you, are you not frustrated? No, so how, so how, sir, so how, sir. Are you not get certificate well, to burn, so to burn? I have, I have, I have. Uh, go, I go burn, burn and put them for Facebook. Okay, okay. Now, what do you talk? Make me react that way. Say now, nah, frustration. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I, 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 that I said I'm supporting him for burning the, the, the or destroying his uh, certificate, but that is where I saw it, sir. Well, that is my own opinion. You, Everybody has you, to his own you, you, No, no, you are entitled to it, but we are. Up also entitled to a thought we must the, 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 we must generate a thought we we go carry weight so you say you okay. s- you support the guy for for burning the certificate no, no, I, didn't, no I, didn't, I didn't say i was supporting sir okay yeah, no, i didn't say i was supporting i said i, said, I saw it as, i saw it as, an, as a protest okay that's what i said i didn't okay. say i was supporting sir yeah no no protest I, like that too it's a wrong protest wrong way of protesting thank you okay okay thank you sir Hello, good afternoon. Uh, oh dear. I have trouble engaging this call. Okay, 0700-903-903-903. Um, for those who don't already uh, know, Alvin Olutimei Ilenre. Yeah. He, he is a, uh, a man is in his early 40s has set his certificates from the primary school to the university level on fire according to him he read history and international studies from the ajay Krada university in oyo state moses the great one striking lesson of history many people don't learn from history and they become history unfortunately yeah, a bad yeah. One at that. The frustration somebody is talking about is. That doesn't hold water. I beg. It's a, there's a better way of killing a cat. The rain that falls on everybody is is not painful. Nigeria is not too friendly to everybody. So if you go that route, then it's unfortunate. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Hello. Welcome. Your name, sir. Hello. Where? I'm Muslim, calling from Okata. Okay then. Uh, I want to put my to concerning person that born certificate. I see 
You know Vex. Uh, you 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 personally you uh, know Vex. I the best way I divest my own. Everybody has a new area of his own. Okay. The person, person that commits to person that commits suicide is there. The committee, according to how we see it and believe. So everybody have how we will act for any condition, any situation of life. Yeah. So this is how I see. So so uh, uh, if, if a relative, if your relative or your picking or whoever where you know born certificate, come back home, you go clap for them. I, I think so you they listen to me. If anybody if anybody where you know born in certificate come yeah. back to the house, you go clap for him. Because he the vex. Nothing I can do because it's because of how we understand it before you do it. Which you will tell me before you know how to advise him. So everything of life will depend. Oh, you depend. Know, okay. If you know this one, you do not know the other side. And that is how everybody understands what I do. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Mm. Oh yeah, now that kind vex no good though. That if you ask me. <laughs> well, well, we, uh, Nigerians have spoken, uh, and we can see that um, everybody recognizes that uh, there is nothing new under the sun. So we must uh, educate these are young ones mm -hmm. yeah. that they are civilized uh, procedures of ventilating. Lesson, it is four o'clock now. Go on. They are civilized uh, procedures for ventilating one's grievances. Mm -hmm. Once you take the routes that is not in tandem with the <laughs> societal norms. Nelson, don't make me vex with this your route. <laughs> with the route where I say, okay, maybe the route. <laughs> maybe you the I route. looked at you with consternation when you mentioned so, route. I, I, I see when you they look me. <laughs> so Nigerians uh, will uh, recognize that um, the rain did not just start falling yesterday. Mm -hmm. We have been together in this ship mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. And we owe that responsibility to educate and inform ourselves that that certificate that he bought now, what happens if tomorrow morning there's an opportunity for him? Yeah. And he go go to, to school. I see me then. Before he goes to school, somebody else will have taken over. There are thousands. <laughs> he, there are will, thousands he, will will, he will live to regret this to an extent. So it's a bad, it's a bad. Uh, and it's not even one certificate per se. He born ah. the primary, possibly the secondary and the university. Yeah. And in Nigeria, there are roles that all these certificates can play. Sometimes you need just a primary school certificate, sometimes just a secondary school certificate. All right. Good afternoon. Good yes, sir. Or is it? Uh, my name is Papa. Oh. Is it a ma uh, or a sir? Comfort. comfort. Oh, sister, sister Comfort, I greet you. Welcome. It's comforters. Are you hearing me? I do hear you. Yeah, we are hearing you. Yes, sir. Um, I just want to say something about the person that born the certificate. Sometimes all these things may not be ordinary. Uh -huh. If somebody somebody are trying to frustrate this man or bewitch that man, may not be ordinary. We go to it, okay. spiritual or otherwise. Uh -huh. That's my own opinion. Somebody okay. with his own clear eye cannot from primary school you suffer the fall and they wake up one night, pack everything and burn it. Yeah. Somebody may be somebody are bewitching him. That's my opinion. Hey, oh. God bless you. Yeah, thank you. But don't be surprised. When uh, our dear, is it first lady, our wife of the governor of Lagos State, when she attended the event that um, the elevator that killed a particular doctor, you know what she said first? That this uh, is like the, the shorter arrow. An attack. It's also. an attack, an mm. arrow. So anybody can give any opinion. Uh, we're in a world where we have many beliefs. So, so uh, that's our no. So, Nelson, if me if it make you burn your certificate why are no cuckoo kill you at once <laughs> i know even see why why are because good? you i don't see what you feel do we go make me because now me i know how i take so far oh. i know the sleep last <laughs> night where i go through so even if not to put up for us as a uh. May my grandchildren come see and say. This one we say he laminated them uh. i saw the from primary and up to the uh nyc yes you know, he, he said, uh. and you know say Robber no day and fire, they be friends. Ah, of course. You know, say so. one of your callers that said it is like the guy wants to be in the pot, but majorly I'm calling for a mental health checkup. For bad it. I'm <laughs> calling for it. I don't know. All right, I have a, another call. Good afternoon. Welcome. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, sir. Yeah, my name is Julius. I'm calling from the country. All right, Julius. 
uh, I want to contribute to the guy that frustrated and um, about that the guy that won himself. I think that guy thinks a lot of things before he did that. He's not spiritual or nothing. He thinks very well. That guy is it's okay. He was great. How can someone get certificate? I don't. Although I don't say he, he has the, he, what he did is good. But that guy is frustrated because. Up to 40 years of date, that guy has not even meet up the demand of. But that is the money we take spend for secondary school, doctors of university, you never get anything. And not only him, there is a lot of Nigerians like that. So, uh, uh, so, that, so, so that means we never see anything yet, Abi. Uh, we never see anything yet. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's, that's, it has been long, not today. Even me too. I threw my passport inside the Red Sea. Which, my own Nigerian passport. Mm -hmm. I throw it inside the race with anger. Because what? I entered the embassy to collect it. something. They said no. I go here. They said no. Because of what? Because I'm a Nigerian. All right. Do you have a passport as you speak to me now, today? Oh God, don't ask me the question. I'm telling you something that passed. No, you don't, like say you don't, don't, pass don't, me. don't like that. Yes, I was, I'm supposed to vex pass you because I'm telling you. Vex pass that me guy now. that born his first. <laughs> huh? All right. It's not, it's not so, it's not joking matter, it's this is, this is, if you who, should take it serious, find who, out why, who what happened. Who is joking? Who is joking here, please? I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Nobody, but nobody is joking. Has, yes, sorry, sir. There nobody, is some people nobody has to read. is joking here. You find Thank out who, 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 what is the cause, what can happen, what, I, what, what lead to that? Is Oh, but, yeah. but someone once said, if I say Yoruba, Ori Bibe Kolo Gori for now, that the, the capitulation is not the cure for headache. Yeah. We are all frustrated. We have one of our, our challenges as Nigerians. Nobody can misimmune against that. But sometimes throw your passport away, burn your certificate. It's, it's, not not it's not only in Nigeria that they have problems. So. Ah, it's the a human world, thing. The world itself. Yes, is, it's, it's a human problem. thing. It's a human. Life is about facing challenges. Challenges. Whether you are in, in America, people are facing challenges. There are more than 10 groups I know that want to even go out of America as in they want secession. Uh -huh. So it's not even uh, so like Nobody Nigeria. should just not assume that we are an island of problems. Problem. No, 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 no. It's a no. global thing. It's All the right. way you address it, you know, individually or collectively as the people <laughs> that matter. You need them someday. <laughs> no, it's a, it's, a, it's a free choice. Whoever has thrown away his passport, he's done it on his own volition. Nobody took it from him. So when he needs that passport, you answer to the authorities. Oh, you better. That's so very happy. It's All not right. simple to me. Uh, the last gentleman said um, we should not joke over it. I'm not. Nobody's joking. I'm, I'm oh, not no, joking. This is serious thing now. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not joking. Over we it. left our homes to be here, and we are, we know we are on national uh, radio. Of course, we are we, we won't assault the sensitivities of our listeners. When you look in the mirror, tell me what do you see. Is it who you think you are, or who you'd like to be? When you look at your shadow.
party has lost the election, but Liberia has won. This is the time for graciousness in defeat. So Boake is 78 and where if 57. Is there a lesson here for African rulers? And uh, let me also share this quickly with you. Some sportsmen, sports people who have become politicians and presidents of their country include, uh, of their countries rather, include Manny Pacquiao, the Filipino boxer who is a senator. He has been a senator since 2016. Imra Khan, Prime Minister of Pakistan, of Pakistan cri cri cricketer, he is in trouble as I as we speak. Um, Kaltu um, Kaltu Magin Batuga is the Mongolian uh, president since 2017. Marcos Steven is former president of Nauru. He is a weightlifter, hmm. and of course we have uh, Tara Asa, former prime minister of Japan. Yeah. is a skit shooter. So, Open Wear has told perfect us... Perfect sportsmanship. Uh, oh yeah, exhibited. that's it. Perfect when, sportsmanship. When, when you are defeated, you are defeated, you are... You are he you, didn't only leave the attribute on the field of play, he took it even to office and he considered. Thumbs up to him, really. Library did one. Yeah, yeah, but Moses and Nelson, does it not tell you something about leadership? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So, he may not have uh, satisfied the Liberian as president for four yes. years. Yes, yes. Uh, but he has shown an uh, extreme uh, level of leadership in mm -hmm. you know, conceding defeats and putting the, you know, uh, a leader is somebody who mobilizes people for public interests mm -hmm. and not for his own personal interests. And in this case, he has displayed that tweet of a leader who put the interest of his country far above his own yeah. personal desire. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us be honest with ourselves. There's no one among us who will run go into our a contest and, and expect wants to win. You know, yeah, you and want to win. Yeah. You know. So for me, I think a uh, big kudos to uh, former pre outgoing president uh, George Obama. Where Uganda, you're wearing Museveni. Almost 40 years within yeah. the within yeah, the country. country yeah. So the ethnic factor. Oh, that has always played the dominant role in African politics might not be, you know, too far from I what... I think that was even a runoff. No, there was a runoff. There was a runoff run yeah. after the first mm -hmm. ballot on October 10th. No, that even adds to is a, a kind of person is a dignified person. He could easily have tampered with it even before the runoff. No, no, it depends on the electoral system. It's not about being able... There's no... Uh, Moses, let me tell you for free. You're an expert there, yeah. There's no president of Nigeria or chairman of INEC that can tamper with results. If not, the last election, the last of cycle election we had in these three states, people are talking about vote buying. Then why will the politicians be buying Voting voters to be? It, it, it's not useful. If their votes don't count. If their votes don't count. So that, with that, you must get that fact very clear. The system has been... Our electoral Do system, I understand what you just said? Yeah. Vote buying. Yeah. Can you really stop it in Nigeria? Why not? Or anywhere? Why? Why? Anywhere? Why not? There's nothing that has a beginning that does not have an end. <laughs> so, so to the can you tell when it began? To, no, to, uh, you know it has been with us from time in Nigeria. To, to the but only that we are, we are we are getting worse. Okay, to the politician, the vote is important. The vote, yes, the politician. The you know essence of politics is the vote into power. That's the, that's the essence you of you politics. Don't get off it by fiat. Get off to power, and you know you get, and once you know that this is the only part of getting into power, which is through mm -hmm. the thumbprint of the electorate. Whatever it takes to, to convince the electorate to, mm -hmm. to see with you, you do it. But I believe strongly that if we continue with our voters' education and as well as putting our heads together and look for ways to minimize... Because, for example, I've been taken in my own little corner. Can we incentivize uh, vote-buying corporate such that if we put a, if we put security agents in a polling unit mm -hmm. and say if you see vote buying, this mm -hmm. is the incentive you get. But I also recognize that in the essence of in the business of vote buying is a two way transaction: the buyer and the seller. Of course, if the seller is you know is going to sell his votes and uh, if the buyer yeah, wants to buy a vote, want to buy votes, mm -hmm. you see the sellers. 
if they see you as a stumbling block to selling their vote, mm. they can do anything to you. Of course. The policeman or the security agency is not an agent. I've seen situations whereby they will tell the security, they will tell security their organ, this is how, this is how we do it here. Yes, I uh, hold your own piece. Oh. Hold your own piece. And because you don't want to be held liable for disruption of the election, you too, mm -hmm. you stay away. And I've even had the story, maybe from you when you were on, re on radio, I said, the, the, uh, the security agent will tell you that sometimes it's not in their poor view to stop anybody from buying anything. He will tell you clearly, no. we are here to just monitor votes. No, you know, you know, uh, you know what, uh, what usually happens is that the police station, a policeman or a security agent is assigned to a police station. 100 meters away, that's the way. You see some people gathered. Okay. Somebody runs to the policeman and say, oh, God, see those people there, they are giving their money to buy goods. You, as that one is saying it, you, as somebody else now runs to you, him again and says, Oh, God, see the arm for that side. <laughs> so when you now tell the security officer to go, the security officer will tell you that I'm assigned to guard the police Put, station. Auto? If I go and arrest and somebody carries away the ballot box, ballot box start and run away. which explanation will I give? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nelson, does that not tell you we are still in the woods? Absolutely. You are not far from the truth. Mm -hmm. But I believe, that we can, I believe we can still... And should we not begin to look for a way towards home? That is why I said it calls for collective reasoning. True, true. My, I might not have the whole solution because in my little corner, I've been thinking seriously about it. Why must a grown up? I've seen instances somebody will get to the police station on election day and is waiting for somebody to come and entice, entice him. him yeah. And like all these days, the campaign has been going on. Mm -hmm. So it means you didn't make up your mind where you wanted to vote. Still very funny, really. Do you know that as low as two hundred naira recharge card, you can buy a vote. Ah, ah boy. Uh, see, just always say that. Now, poor, poor, no crazy now. Yeah. People, people, that people don't understand. Say now, four years of their life. Two hundred naira. Two hundred naira. Four years. Four, four. <laughs> Do you know what four years means in one uh, man's life? Uh, 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 <laughs> so I ask, how much is four years of my life worth? I don't, know how much 200, you can 200 naira now. I don't know how much you can And so I like the 200 naira and things go wrong. You, you they start... Say, uh, they say you lose... Um, you lose the rights to complain. To complain, yes, yeah, obviously. absolutely. Because you That's why like some of these politicians, when they ride into power via such foul means, they tell you that they don't care after they bought you. We've paid you. No, there was a case of a senator in Ekiti. Uh, Do you remember a citizen? Senator Abiodun Luji. Okay. okay. When his constituents now made a protest to our constituency office that they wanted this, that, that, they said the she woman told them. told them of that. Look, during the elections, I paid you now. Yes, now. Yes. So don't come and ask me for any favor. I, mean, I don't owe you anything now. You collected your four years' ah! rent. Terrible. So Terrible. now I can do and undo. Terrible. So that's, uh, that's where we are found ourselves. <sighs> wow. But well, um, if, if you fill up to um contributing to the story emanating, emanating from liberia uh please call now let's i have a caller here good afternoon hello yeah i greet you welcome i greet you this will be calling back will be welcome James, I just came back from him uh, uh, I was directly involved. Uh, this election is so the first issue time, yeah. is a very serious matter. Mm. It's a very serious matter, Susan Jones. You see, uh, we have a very long way. There's no way, uh, uh, what do you call him, this footballer, um, it's up on the judge where we not agree. When every process is open and clear. After all, he's, he's the president of the country. If they, if they are supposed to read the election, he would have some his part. When the lateral umpire is, if the lateral umpire is not biased, and everything is, you know, perfect. Well, I don't see the reason why after election you should contest or try to make trouble. You see, every year we put 35,000 police a minute. At the end of the day, <laughs> they just collected money. I it's love zero. Jesus. They're doing nothing. Then to do that, you, know, you see, you see, this election in Nigeria is, I think, it has got, it's a very difficult situation. My brother, who was the local government campaign director, who was powerful and strong, he was kidnapped <laughs> two weeks before election. Mm -hmm. And we paid ransom of eight million to release, and I paid eight million dollars to release. I, I spoke to the 
to the criminals myself. I was the one that gave the ransom. So what I'm trying to say here, the day of election, you know, that, that the agreement that they will move to the local collection center before the local government. That was the agreement they had with that INEC woman that, that has been accused of being partisan. On that day, they refused to do that according to plan. Then they moved to local government. My brother, who is the local government collection, was refused entry. So just the police blocked him. So if the party, Labour Party, agent is there, my brother, what do you think? The whole resource oh, we have okay, so, was so there's a lesson to learn from Liberia, which is the thrust of the story. The, the lesson is the president of this country, for example, Abola Netinibu, decided to say he would change and mean to change. To, uh, to the Jews, everything will change. He comes, he begins, when the head is rotten, that's nothing they can do. They charge, with the Jews, they charge 800,000 per food. You know the level of hunger in this country, the Jews. That's where people are getting for You know, he came to 10,000, 10, 15,000 per person. Who is it that will reject it? Take the man that bought his certificate. If you give him this, he will, he will bring it. He will go and bring back his certificate. And he said, 15,000. You know, 15,000 is not small money. Because there was, because now, people didn't come out. So the money was so enough to buy anybody, even a PhD degree holder. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Th thank you. It's, thank so, you. it's so difficult. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. 15,000 um, naira to 4, buy. 425 p.m. Uh, from Lagos here. Yeah, this is the Voice of the People Radio. And uh, it is Studio 903. Uh, otherwise, the Radio Palo Show. From here. Yeah. Citizen, I think uh, the, 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 the crux of our discussion here is about the conduct of our politicians. Mm. You know, conceding defeat when you know you have lost gallantly and not trying to raise the rooftop, which is exactly what we have seen uh, President George Weir do doing in Liberia. That when an election is conducted and you have lost, be, you know, be gallant in defeat. Mm, I mean. Don't raise rooftop about what never uh, oh, transpired, you know, you just know. to incite. <laughs> All right then. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Yeah. Yes, uh, the Nigerian uh, election. Yeah. Okay. The, the CDC also screen their, 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 the one they have choose, but it takes 70 something years old. Okay, I'm telling you what happened in Liberia. So. No, ask me, wait, me, me, I don't know. I know. <laughs> so, what do you want me to, uh, to? What do I say now? Well, I wish they're well. Okay. They are going well. They are going well. If you ask. I know. Me. They also did that wish. Good luck. That. Uh, but it's a man. They are men. They are be. They are put around the top of the head. They are left on the ballot paper. Did you get the question you asked? I, I, I said, judge upon where the president of Liberia has accepted that he has been defeated by the opposition candidate. That's the news. That's the news. Well, I heard it. I heard the news. Uh -huh. so, I feel the man that you will we, we help them and help them very well. I'll listen to their, to their plight. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You know why this is still like a, an item of news anytime it happens in Africa? Because if you go across board, you have many sick tight despo. So hey, if one of them, like Jonathan did in 2014, George Wedgers did now, it's always going to make the news. Ordinarily, in very serious climes, you don't have to bring down the entire roof because you've lost. Yeah. You've lost because the people don't want you. You've not done enough. Then yeah, please go. So it's always still a, a kind of news in Africa. When you have to be poor beer, yeah. um, yeah. like. Yeah. 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 Hello. Please do me do do us a favor. Yeah. Keep your radio um, out of it. Keep your radio out of it, please. Yes, I am out of it. I out of it. I beg, offer. At least we, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know? me, sir. yeah. Your name, sir. Where are you calling from? Yeah, you can start lights on. All right then. Uh, uh, sir, it's uh, I bet I, I think uh, they have witnessed what we have witnessed in this country. So if they didn't perform very well, means they're still in darkness. Likewise, Nigeria, Nigeria has mortgaged their system. 
No, no. But, well, well, let, let me understand. Make I understand what you said about <laughs> Liberia. What, what did you say about Liberia? Okay. That uh, Liberia has done what? Yes, and what I'm saying, yes, I said they have witnessed what we have witnessed in the past. So if they didn't perform very well to themselves, um, it happened that they never learned a lesson. So likewise, Nigerian citizen has mortgaged. So there is no way Nigeria will move forward on that mortgage system of uh, presidency or governorship. So we, we, are, we have a... The human and capital development we give to other agents, the other stakeholders. You talk about the police. They go for trainings, they go for seminars with regards to election conduct. You talk about the civil society of observers. Always very very they also, very they very also very go for trainings and what have you to up their game. Uh, you talk about the media. Mm -hmm. there will, there's always you know support for the media mm -hmm. for objective and unbiased reporting mm -hmm. to deepen democracy. So what are we what are we investing in the politicians? Absolutely nothing. And, 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 and aren't you sometimes aren't you worried that we may not get it in our lifetime? No, I, I, I'm not worried. I believe we'll get it. But I, I'm sorry. How do, we inve how do we invest our politicians? I don't, I don't get it. No, I mean, our politicians also deserve training seminars on the essence of their participation in politics. You see, politics, rather than becoming a hobby, has become a lifetime, you know, occupation of some people. And if they, even if they, it has become an occupation, there must be some standards. These are the rules of you know, civilized conduct. The offices are juicy. No, very, not, very no. juicy offices. Agreed. There's no problem. It's, it, that is not a crime for an office to be juicy. It's for you to recognize that that office, mm. you are holding it in trust. Trust. That okay. that office okay. is okay. not okay. a I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it now. All right. Um, 0700-903-903-903. If you got it wrong, get it right now. Liberian President George Weir concedes poll loss, congratulates ex-Vice President Boaki, who has, that is Joseph Boaki, who has beaten him in a runoff. Hello, welcome. Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon, House. Good afternoon, mm, Bala. I greet everybody. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, I greet you, sir. Yeah, your name, sir. Uh, uh, I know that All this right. show is not complete without Welcome. you calling it. Thank you. <laughs> I said I greet everybody. Greet especially. <laughs> uh, you talk of all. I I did but I did this year. I call I call you me for this third time. Copying this million naira is not a small thing, my brother. Yeah. I did this year. But the, the, the God is making He plays the money for us. Uh, about uh, Jojo Kowe, my brothers, I'm not surprised. About Jojo Kowe, I'm not surprised. You, 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 you guys will remember, you will remember his statement. At the age, either the age or some, some of you have about the little military general. He said, how can you leaders, you leaders to be making your country off, making your students off, you know, put law, and, and you are not respecting the law, you are violating the law, and you want to know people, you want to know people, people that are looking at you. And when something happens, you people will be calling us meeting, so we get out and say you watch. So what do you do? They are not surprised. They start saying they talk about your family. If you want his own conduct and the way in this Liberia, if you say in this Liberia with respect, in fact, in citizens, in fact, in country. That's why I don't say, this is, I, I have done my part, let another person come and take over. That is what they call progress and prosperity. Not that you will be there, you will not have any idea you are great. You want to fight the city by force. Thank you. We are, we are talking about the people and all that. Do you know what we are taking here? He said, that you can't be having this year. Nemeka, thank you. You people, you have to say, wait, you have to say, you have to say, you have to say, you have to say, what is bigger of this, 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 what is
you know, upscale our investment in the political class such that uh, those values that can be taught to them because um, the political class is one uh, class that there's no standard <laughs> of entry, there's no there's no assessment. I wonder they do things so like anybody this. just comes at any time, you know. But for you to be an observer, there are certain rules and regulations you must comply with, you know, that is handed down to you by INET. And you are trained, you know, to abide by those uh, code of ethics. Be if you are if you are a journalist, you are you are taught the mm -hmm, journalism mm -hmm, ethics. Mm -hmm. As well as the election observation. But is it for INET to train them or their political parties? Where, where they emerge from? No, they, they, they are institutions as well as you know, support partners. Okay. Even development partners do that. They come around, they train journalists severally mm -hmm. on various aspects of the job. But for our politicians, nobody is training them. Somebody just wakes up in the morning and say, I want to become a uh, House of Representatives, you know. Uh, aspirant or contender, and you ask, what motivated you that you know? Of course, the pets of the offices. You can uh -huh. tell that he's not going there because he wants to have anybody. So, if somebody like that is going into that office without the requisite, you know, uh, empowerment uh -huh. to make him recognize that look, that office you are aspiring for. Don't look at what you stand to gain. Uh -huh. there. Look at how you can render service to the people, and it should be such that. It's a contest. It should not be a do or die affair. Yeah. All you right. know, we, All right. That way we will have skilled their... Let me take one more call. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome. Well, good afternoon, Citizen Joe. Yes, sir. Accepting defeat. That is what we expect Atikwa to be to do before they want to destroy this country. Destroy the judiciary, oh, that, destroy the electoral, and destroy everything because they lost election, woefully. Thank you. Thank you, too. I, I remember when I got lost in 2000, you know, the American election that was so close, possibly the closest in their history. At the point, he let it go, and they asked him why. He said, American presidency is bigger than any one of us. Reconcile that to is it Abraham Lincoln? Um, uh, Donald Lincoln? Trump, who contested the, the outcome of the last election mm. that brought Joe Biden to power. Yeah. He's uh, fighting to to run again to next run year. Again, yes. True. That attack on the Capitol, Capitol yeah. um, uh, it, it's said to have been precipitated by him. Yes, absolutely. What, what, what does it tell you? Yeah, but the corporates have been apprehended one after the other. Some of them are even in jail right now. So the American yeah. democracy is very much alive. But maybe they've not really held him in the jugulars mm. that you actually, because if he's still going to run, then he's going to be because that January 6th, 2021, um, uh, Wahala has not really pinned him down. Otherwise, he can still contest. Okay. Yeah, but you you recognize that he's still in court facing some charges. And uh, part of the allegations is the instigation of the capital riot. Okay. Of which you cannot exhume. Because, you know, when the election held, in, was it 2020? 2020, yeah. 20, he went to press and was claiming he won without providing proof of how he won. How can somebody... It, it was just like the the last presidential election where uh, Obi and uh, Atiku went to court and claimed they won in all every place, all places, most places, some places. And the court said, in the electoral act, there's nowhere like all places, most places, every place, some place. We have the polling units. It has a name. It has a code. We have the collation center at the rack world level we have the uh, it has a code we also have the local government coalition center so you must be able to specify because the course is very clear oh, no, sometimes when i listen to you i think i, I have an INEC chairman before me you, you are have, just too vast you have to specify <laughs> where you want because it's just like if you come before us now Moses, and uh, or you go to the police station and tell the police oh my car is stolen do you think the policeman will go and stay on the road and be looking for every car? No, no. They will first of all ask you, what make is your car? Uh, yes. What is your registration the number? number? Everything. Everything. They want to be particular because there are various brands of car. Of course not. So I think what uh, George Ware has done in Liberia, even though some of us have always said, 
you don't concede victory. It's only defeat you concede. Yeah. If somebody has lost, <laughs> it's natural to concede. To concede. Oh, it's not yeah. an African thing. It's still rare. No, 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 no. It's still rare. He just gave you an example of a of a Donald Trump. That one is an exception to the rule. <laughs> Donald oh, Trump oh. is another brilliant talent. Donald Trump. Oh, oh, all right, just, just a minute. <laughs> I have a call here. Good evening. Welcome. Are you for Hello. us? Hello. Yeah, welcome. Um, that's, um, good, good afternoon. Yeah, welcome, uh, sir. Jones. Yes, um, sir. Thank you. Thank you for what you'll be doing. This is um, Kwame calling from um, Ayola Deku. Okay, I then. think I think we're getting it wrong, please. Eh? You ask a question, how long will you keep on learning? The base of the matter is that if you go to Liberia, I follow Liberia election the way it went. The, the umpire said this is how the election is going to be conducted and everything went that way. You get what I'm saying now? Yeah. So, like Nigerian case now, the the umpire said something, he did another thing. If the umpire has said, okay, this is what's going to happen from day one and he has gone with this. To me, the winner, I guess, was the clerk when it was defeated by Mandela 1994. The citizen Jones, you can just check that. Yeah, you yeah. See, the, truth, the truth is that even George Way, fine, it's good, it's courageous that he may have to admit, but don't, don't underwrite or undervalue the efforts of Jonathan, who is the, I mean, chief uh, Echo Wars, whatever, representative there. Jonathan did something in 2015. Even though I didn't like his administration, we all condemned him for the poor performance. But that singular confession that he lost the election and called Buhari, even though Buhari became a worse president than him, is something that forever he did to stand for Jonathan. And that is a mark of leadership. Yeah. You understand? He got to a point that his own personal interest is not supposed to be beyond that overall interest. This is of the nation. If you go to Liberia before the election, the same problem you had in Nigeria, using the state apparatus to suppress opposition, happened in Liberia. It is in jail. It did. Prince it Johnson, did. Prince Johnson, Prince Major, ordinarily, if not for the Liberia opposition, the wanted to find his way through. You understand? In 2017, she he was supported by the former president, and he came our own vice president, who is now the uh, president, Joseph Boca. Mm. So the truth is that he just found a very strong opposition. Don't forget Prince Johnson. Prince Johnson's church was, you know, destroyed by people who were supporters of the, 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 the CDC, the yeah. party of uh, yeah. what yeah. is now, the, yeah. the yeah. present president. Yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, he's, he's good. He's good. They follow American service with this and that. But the truth is that he's still an African president. Corruption is there, party that if is there, all this imposition is there under its watch. So that's by the way. See, yeah. I disagree with the uh, Mr. Ekutun in there. Uh, Ekutun is there. When he said you know, the, the public office has to be you know, juicy, whatever, it does not have to be juicy. See, Jones, the problem we have in Nigeria politicians today is the majority of the politicians today who, who are the chief of politics of our politics are propaganda politicians. Check all of them. The people who emerged from 1991, NPP, NLC, the kind of corruption that was pervading the system then was the kind of thing they brought into the politics to the today. A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. What do we have? How can you a be a president? To the center. And, uh, <laughs> exactly. What, 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 what do we have? What, 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 is, is this the way that he did his own administration? Is this the way Omar Bodhi did? It? Is this the way blah, 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 what, what is it now? Ambrose and he did. These All guys the are special breed. They are special. Yes, breed. again, somebody will tell you, no, somebody will tell you they are progressive. What, what is progressive in APC? What is progressive in most places that the people is doing today? Is there anything progressive here? It's not. We don't have to deceive ourselves. We know the truth, and the truth must be said all the time. I mean, greatest mistake people like Mr. Nancy and Kujumi did, like, is because they never trusted, I mean, with, uh, Abu Salami then. I'm not about Jennifer and he said it. And listen to back about very well, the AUD leader then. He said, but, but, but uh, Jennifer and he called, he referred to Robert Soya and the place Bola again as unserious because he said, ah, 
how can you guys do go to they, they went to meet Abu Bakr and Abu Salam again, and they said they came out and they spoke to everybody. Oh, he's a serious man. The man gave the Ghanaian minister really serious. What about the constitution? What about all the problems that you have not even checked? If those photos have been corrected, then we do. We will never have the problem we have today. So, so put, 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 put simply, we are the we are the architects of our wahala. Our, we are the own architects of our means. So, if people like equity, the society, civil society people there, if you like, because they never trusted the system. Abu, Abu Salami was even afraid. You don't forget before, when we go before Abu Salami died. Abu Salami came under Abu Salami's watch to you know, I mean, launch a project in Lagos. He was the federal minister for. For I think housing, housing works then. He was in Lagos, he just went to Abuja, and suddenly he became the president. He was angry, he was afraid as well. So I think our problem, we are going to live with this problem until God knows when. Because the fundamental problem of Nigeria has not been addressed. Is Nigeria a nation? Is Nigeria a country? Have we really addressed those country problems? If we don't address those, those problems, whether anybody likes it or not, we are just going to be parabolic and we are not going to get anything better. Thank you. Many thanks. Uh... Yeah, Nelson. Yes, um, the the issue at stake now is um, looking at how elections can be conducted and how stakeholders mm -hmm. will submit to the due process of the law. True. If an election, there's nothing wrong, even after conceding defeat, because George Ware is the president of the country. Mm -hmm. If he finds enough ground. To still, maybe to still challenge, challenge the results. Result, yeah. There is no crime. But what we are saying is that submit yourself to the due process of the law. Don't cause public unrest. Why do we have that trouble here? We, we have that trouble because, uh, because of our peculiarities. You know, our peculiarities in, this, in the sense that we don't have... Nelson, is you, there, you said something earlier. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Is there any such thing as a Nigerian type democracy? You know, no, 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 no. It's about, it's about you know, we automating... No, it's about we automating our system. Mm. If you don't automate our system, it gives room for, you know, uh, some sort of more practice. Let me give you an example. Example. Look at the governorship election in Kano now. Mm. That, you know, the courts... You know, uh, remove the governor. From the, he, he uh, went to the court of appeal. I, I got, yeah. What was what was the grounds? Anybody who is knowledgeable about law, the APC candidate discovered that the Long governor 000, um, had uh, votes counted for him for about one hundred and sixty-three thousand votes. Ballot papers were that signed. were not stamped and signed. And under law, any document that is not signed and stamped has no authority it's invalid is invalid it's a fraud so definitely if you know the law you know that that uh, governor of uh, Kano state cannot remain in that office it will definitely supreme court is going to uphold that decision so these are common these are basic you know uh, uh, rules in law that you don't need you don't need to be so a so, so, when so so who is the who is at fault here the politicians themselves or the referee. Now let me say this. Can, um, hold hold on, Moses. Okay. It can be. It can. It. It might be a complicity. Yeah, Tell me, where are the fifteen yeah. other parties? Yeah. What are they doing? If they are not contesting election, they should close shop, so that we know we have just three. Three. Mm. Tomorrow morning, now they will come together, be addressing yeah. press conference yeah. on yeah. an election that they were not yeah. eyewitness yeah. to, I mean. that they are listening to reports of what somebody that was not there. All right, Moses. Um, I think this way. Well, before I think before we started the program at all, you referred to Kogi as permanently a case between the Ebiras and the Igalas, have you? The look, you know, we say every politics is it's local. local. Fine. Yes. Now I also take it down to a case where um, which other state are we discussing now? Um, uh, among the Liberians, it boils yes. down to ethnicities, fault lines like that. Yes, the fault lines. Yes. It is the reason everyone, all politicians, uh, politicians we call uh, that call themselves politicians in Nigeria, are what I call political desperados they are very desperate it's a case of they even flout all known rules and they hold on to some fault lines regionalism ethnicity sometimes gender and that's why they want to do anything to get to office if it means compromising all known laws if it means compromising everything that is decent so until we see that offices are not for my uh, at least when your brother was there when we see uh, up and see retain this mentality it will be unfortunate. We we'll see have this Moses, all the time. A major problem of organization. 
political parties mm. in in putting a particular ca- candidate forward should look at the rule book and look at the 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 uh the candidate yes. and the papers submitted what by don't him. we micro zone and that's why i will advise you that please from the primary level the party join political parties so that if you don't want someone you won't like in future to be fielded you can always affect changes from the political but we don't join them when they now feel a by a political and say we don't want him who is he well we are not participating actively so from the primaries join the political party so that you have a say from there I, we have, don't do that. I have a caller here from outside Nigeria. Hello, good afternoon, good afternoon, sir. Hello, hello, good afternoon, citizen. Yeah. How are you today? I'm fine, and you? Where are you calling yeah. from? I'm calling from Ontario. Ontario, Canada. Richmond right? Hill. Yeah. Rich Richmond Hill. Okay. Then. Yeah, citizen. I think we need to be honest to ourselves because I believe that as you are there now, you are a man of seventy years or above seventy, mm-hmm. if I'm not wrong, which no, I know you should be seventy now. So, you know, the problem we're facing in this country is that we fail to tell ourselves the truth. We talk about Liberia today. You see what happened in Liberia, you understand? We give them kudos. What happened? Are you there? Uh, Are you oh, please, please call back if you can. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. All right, go on. You, you hear me? Yeah. yeah. But Nigerian case is not that way in the sense that you tell us that okay this is how it's going to be hello uh, go on, go on, go on. Go on. hello yeah well, citizen go on go on yeah good 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 so what i'm trying to say is that if the INA could get it right everybody will fall into the place you understand you coming for election you submit your papers who is going to screen you it's INEC that will screen you. No. We check your papers. No, no, we no, give no, you your clearance. Poli- your political party no, INEC starts. Does not screen. Your political party starts. No, you don't understand. Yeah. What I'm saying is that no, no, no. We the party could wave certain things. Yes. That's what's happening in Nigeria. Party could wave certain things. Yes. They will overlook certain things. Yes. But when you come to INEC now, get me right now. When you come to INEC as the umpire, yes. INEC has the rights. You understand? He had to go and check the electoral oh, uh, uh, hello, the electoral hello, hello, sir. Hello, sir. And the problem we're facing. I'm saying, Do you understand it, what I'm it, saying it, now? It's, it's a big problem here. But our courts address this. No, no, no. INEC is the, is the principal, is the key. No, no. INEC you does not screen your, your papers. No, no, you don't understand what I'm saying now. No, no. Mm. What I'm Get me right now. If you bring something that is not right, you understand? Okay, why they say that if you want, if you want to be the president, you need you need school sets. Why they use that? And sometimes I need to use their discretion. If you can read and write, why did they say that? No, 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 Quickly, Moses, how do we close? Because oh, well, um, concerning the man that bought his um, certificate, I hope one is in his better frame of mind. He will think again and uh, possibly face the mirror and see himself properly. Uh, with respect to George Ware, as I said, he took the attribute of a footballer, a sportsman now, even took it to office, and that is commendable. It's sometime on Africa and for you not to stay there forever, even if you have to circumvent, but he had done the better thing. Today, we all celebrate Jonathan all over the world because... At least he did what is right. So I commend uh, Jodio for that, really. Uh, I want to admonish the man who bought the certificate to please go and visit a mental health institution mm-hmm. to determine his state of mind because I don't think he's in the right frame of mind, you know, as he been. Then talking about uh, what has happened in Liberia, it can happen anywhere. We just need to admonish our political class, not only in Africa, even all over the world that they should learn to play by the rules. The judicial adjudication process is embedded in the electoral system of every country. If you lose that election, if you don't want to concede defeat, nothing stops you from going to court. But, you know, you must ju- not eat up the polity. That is just, That's just my own That's point. It. Okay, I'm out of here. We should be here on Sunday. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye now. <laughs>
Ah, 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 ah,